Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to the third episode of my Python's Realm Season 2 series of awesomeness, guys. Thank you very much for the amount of support you showed in the last episode, my friends. Very, very much appreciated as per the norm. And today's fan art comes from a user by the name of Kia. And he decided to go ahead and sketch out my, my Terraria character in a pretty awesome style. Looks really, really nice. And I love the sort of crisscross effect that you put on the cloak at the bottom there. I think that looks really, really awesome, man. So, Kia, thank you very much for the fan art. If you want to send in your fan art, guys, you can do so using the details on screen for a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out. I very much appreciate each and every single suggestion and uh, fan art that you guys send. So, keep them coming in, buds. Keep them coming in. But today, my friends, I kind of figured we'd go ahead and do some uh, some exploring in the world because we haven't actually done a great deal of exploring in our world. And I just thought, you know what? We may be able to find something cool. Maybe find some of that enchanted sword action. Hmm. As soon as you get that, it's like rip pre-hard mode, right? So maybe it'll be... Wow, this is a cool little piece of terrain generation. This is awesome. I could totally make something out of this. There's like a little floating island with like a little waterfall going into a pond down here. This is epic. I really love this piece of terrain generation. It's very small and insignificant, but I, I still think it's pretty cool, right? I mean, that's all cool. <laughs> Oh man, awesome stuff, awesome stuff. So, since last episode, I've done a couple of things. I've basically crafted all of the ores into bars, so we now have enough uh, bars to actually make ourselves a platinum sword now but i'm gonna hold off for now in the hopes that we'll get ourselves an enchanted sword instead that my friends would be pretty awesome in addition to that i did go ahead and read the comments in the last episode and one of you guys was saying that uh, we should go ahead and carry around with us an advanced or a heavy workbench which is why i have it in here we've got the heavy workbench here very very good for crafting building materials for those of you guys who don't know so very well done thank you very much for that suggestion much appreciated my friends and uh, yeah like i say we're just going to explore the world we're going to hopefully find ourselves one of those enchanted sword shrines and then uh, as a result of that maybe just maybe we can get ourselves our first boss taken down. Hey, look at this, my friends. We've got ourselves a giant tree, which is kind of awesome. I love finding these giant trees in Terraria. I really do think they're a cool little thing to have. So, uh, yeah. Right. So, I'll tell you what would be a cool thing to have is double jump. Sadly, we don't have it, which kind of sucks. It has to be said. But, you know, you can't have everything in the world, can you? Uh, right. I think what I'm going to go and do is do the little floody, floody, floody action. Mr. Batty, Batty, Bat, Bat can go away. Oh, God. There's like a freaking army of them coming in. Hello. Please don't give me the feral bite debuff. Oh, Jesus. Wet. There's a lot of guys here. Oh, get out of the water. Get out of the water. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, this was not a good idea. This was not a good idea. Oh, uh, oh, maybe not. Huh, apparently, my sword actually just uh, shrek them all. Fantastic. Hey, man, I'll take it. Can you, like, all die, please? I'd very much like to get through this pond and, and uh, explore and stuff. Oh, jeez, I didn't even have any potions on me. Are you kidding? No. I didn't have any potions. Oh, my God. What kind of an idiot am I? No, apparently, uh, very much one. Very much one. Good job, Python. You can't even get past the goddamn jungle, man. You got 220 health. And, well, pretty much no defense, to be fair to myself. But you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. I should have been able to get through there at the very least. Right, uh, let's grab these out and stuff. And, yeah. That's, yeah, that was a bit embarrassing, wasn't it? Oh, well. Well, when in doubt, let's go down to the right-hand side and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going until we hit the unexplored parts. Hey, guys. Check this out. There's actually another large tree. So we've got two large trees. That's not bad. So here's the cool thing I've noticed about this one. Again, it's a pretty insignificant point, but I think it's kind of cool. So you see this tree here. It's kind of bisecting two biomes. So on one side, we've got the regular forest biome. The other side, we have ourselves the forest. And believe it or not, it's pretty much the exact same for over here. We've got... Hey, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, I'm trying to explain things. See, you see, we've got ourselves a forest biome on this side, and over here is, uh, is a snow biome starting to come in, you know, indicative from the snow and stuff. So, falling snow. Yeah, I love falling snow. Awesome stuff. Right, can I make this? Ah, oh, dang it. Well, it would help if I actually jumped, wouldn't it? Right. <laughs> There we go. Fantastic. There we go. Can I at least make it through the snow biome without dying? 
That would be cool. I'd very much like to be able to run as well and not keep going inside these freaking water pockets, therefore slowing me to an absolute crawl, because that's just a pain, man. Oh, wow, I almost didn't make that. Jeez, dude. All right, oh, another freaking water body. Ah, oh, dang it. Wow, wow, this makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? <laughs> um, yeah. We just came across a desert right next to a freaking... What the heck kind of desert biome is this? This looks a bit jacked up, doesn't it? Wow, this is a weird desert biome. There's like a massive anthill there. But there's like... I don't get it, man. This is some weird terrain generation, if you ask me. Oh, well. Maybe we can uh, make our way over. Who knows? Who knows? There may just be the slightest chance. Wait, hang on a minute. So what the hell was that other place? Is that just a thing? Ah, okay. Careful, Python. Careful. Can you, like, actually be careful? Come on, man. You can at least make it through a desert biome, bro. Jeez, dude. You're not that not skilled and stuff. Oh, God. Here comes a big bugger. Hey, buddy. Wow. I could do a lot of damage against this guy, can't I? Oh, my word. Six damage? Are you kidding? Wow. My weapons are, like, completely ineffective, huh? Sir, you need to die. I, I'm, I can't allow you to kill me, okay? I'm, I'm already tired of dying today. I'm not about to get killed again, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Come on. There we go. Perfect amount. Sweet. Right, let's get over here. Let's kick this guy's butt. Maybe we can get ourselves... Oh, my God. What? 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 What, what did these guys come from? They just came out of nowhere, bro. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I feel like we are playing the Great Escape right now. Hey, look at this. This is kind of interesting, right? That's really, really weird. What kind of terrain generation kind of world is this, man? Where you've got a snow biome going into a desert, going back into a snow biome. <laughs> what? What is this? It's just a sheer wall, man. Dude, Terraria, you're drunk. Go home, bro. Go home. Oh, my word. Yeah, that is definitely enough to kill me, that fall. Okay, right. We need to remember that. And there's a... Dude, I am telling you the terrain generation is completely drunk. I don't know what's going on right now. Send help. I want a refund. This world is weird. Oh, uh, okay. Hi, buddy. Why don't you go and get killed? Let's have ourselves the uh, let's have ourselves some vertebrae start to get collected, huh? That'd be kind of cool for some battle potions later down the line. You know what I'm saying? Jeez, man. Hello. Right. Well, at the very least, this biome seems kind of normal. Are we going to have, like, normal jungle temples? So, for those of you guys who don't know, previously, in one of my previous worlds, I had a jungle temple that was open before Plantera, right? It was really, really strange, and it would be kind of awesome if it happened again, to be honest. Right, good day to you, sir. Do you know what? I'm kind of thinking there may be a desert temple here. That would be pretty cool. Maybe we can get ourselves double jump from that. That would be pretty cool, right? Hey, eh? Yeah. Get wrecked. There you go. Fantastic. Right, so, I mean, look at this. There's, like, no grass at all. Starting from the snow biome going all the way over here, there's, like, no actual proper grass. I mean, there's, like, crimsonified grass, but not, like, proper grass, you know? Right, uh, you, you... Oh, there is! There is one! Yo! Hey! This is awesome! Dude, this episode is full of wind so far. Well, I mean, apart from that death, it's completely full of wind. Hell yeah, bro. Let's take it, man. I'm absolutely hyped about this. Hey, buddy. Right, let's go and make our way down this place. We'll see if we can get ourselves one of them double jumps. If there was a Pharaoh's outfit in there, I'm going to be one hashtag mad python, dude. Jeez. Right, all right. Let's head down here. Let's see what we can find, boys. So how about it, guys? Another potential base location for the future? Hmm. I think that'd be a pretty cool idea, right? Uh, what's that? Four gold? Uh, can I have some more, please? Oh, wow, I've got six gold out of that in total. Not bad. All right, guys, big money, big money, big money. Are you actually kidding me? Oh, my goodness me. Terraria, you're killing me, bro. Why, why is it every time? I'm telling you, like, almost every single time I get a desert temple, there's a freaking pharaoh's up in it. Come on, man. Come on, man. Give me something decent for once in your freaking game. Oh, man. Right, what is this? How far does this go down, man? I mean, jeez. This is crazy. Look at this, man. It keeps going. Whoa. How far does this actually go down? Oh, wow. Okay, so we just come across the bottom here. Wow. That is a deep uh, desert temple. That is nuts. 
Hey, man, I wonder if there's like a... Oh, jeez. And it tried to kill me at the bottom, but I tell you something, my good friend. You freaking failed because you suck. Lol. You can't take me down with traps. Do you not know who I am? I am the master of taking traps down. Uh, not really. Let's just be frank here. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, let's get back up top. Let's continue exploring. All right, guys. So here we are continuing our exploration. We have come across another forest biome. And this, could this be what I think it is? Uh, no, I don't think it is, actually. Yeah, there's just a little crappy cave system. All right, fair enough. Another big tree. A third big tree, guys. Three of them. And, and someone's alarm is going off. Great. I don't know whose alarm that is. Hopefully, it's not mine. So, yeah. We're back. It wasn't my alarm, so don't worry, guys. But, uh, yeah, it has been, like, superiorly windy in the UK recently. It's been, uh, it's been pretty heavy. Obviously, nothing compared to some of the stuff the US has been having, but... It's still being pretty crazy. Uh, so, yeah, that's a thing. Right, so, uh, let's just put that there. Let's head over here. I mean, I'm not seeing any enchanted sword shrine looking things at the moment, but that's not to say there aren't going to be any. You never know. There is yet another desert biome. Could it even be possible that we have ourselves a second desert temple, guys? I mean, that really would be pretty damn nuts, it has to be said. But I am struggling to see right now because the sun glare against my screen is making it difficult to see, man. <laughs> right. Oh, careful. Quickly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. 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 No. 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 I said no. No means no. Go away, you freaking butt. Oh, God. The longer I stay here, the worse it's going to be. There we go. I got out of there. Fantastic. I'm the... I'm a ninja, man. I'm feeling good about this. Oh, death weed. Thank you. Much appreciated, bro. Okay, let's continue on. Uh, we need to, like, somehow get up here. Oh, God. I'd like to be able to see. Bro, thanks. I really cannot see a damn thing. Can I, like... I just want to... There we go. That's all I wanted to do. Fantastic. Right, then there's a spamming of torches. Let's go and get some back. There we go. Fantastic. All right, so uh, let's continue through. Hopefully there's not too much bad stuff going on. Oh, yeah, there is. Hello. Hi. Oh, wow. We only do a grand total of two damage to those guys. I am the most overpowered Terraria player who has ever existed. I'm doing two damage to people, guys. What is this, man? What is this? It's crazy. It's crazy, I tell you. Oh, hello. Hi. You are protecting a chest, are you? Right, what do you got? A herb bag? I'll take it. Ow. Come on, man. Why? Why must you keep hurting me? What have I done to you? Apart from pillaged your chest. Even though it's not technically yours, you know. There's no name on it or anything. Freaking butt. Ugh. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We can survive this, guys. We can survive this. We can survive this. I got faith. I got faith. Have you guys got faith? Probably not. Let's just be honest here. But, you know, you never know. You know, weirder things have happened. There we go. Fantastic. Right. I really do need to get the heck out of here now. Oh, God. For goodness sake. Hi. Hi. Could you, like, not... I really want to... I, really, I want to live, man. That's as simple as it comes. No! No! I lost six gold, man. The lack of double jump is making exploration that much more difficult. God freaking damn it, man. All right, guys. So we're back to exploring the left-hand side of the well. The right-hand side is getting a little bit treacherous, especially at nighttime. Uh, it does appear to have become daytime, though, because I have had the traveling merchant spawn in who I am kind of tempted to see what he has. If he has a katana, I'm going to be the happiest guy in the world. Then RNG is like, hey, man, I'm sorry that I didn't give you that double jump, dude. Here's a, here's a katana. Well, let's just be frank here. There's more chance of me freaking becoming a polar bear than that happening. I have no idea. Anyway, so uh, let's head up here real quick. Dude, there's a lot of chests over here. This is kind of nice. Oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> deposit all. Well, uh, rip my inventory. I had it somewhat organized before, but now? No. No. That's not going to be the case. Alright, so let's continue up. Uh, I mean, we're doing a lot better than before in terms of exploring and not dying, so, you know, there's always that going for me. <laughs> oh, little bat. Why don't you just go away? Yes, I did see that chest. I'll probably go back for it a little later on. Uh, dude, there really is a lot of chests over here. There's even a water chest here, guys. Check this out. Was not expecting that. 
Uh, that might actually come in useful. Angry shackle. I might put that on, actually. That may come in useful for swimming and getting away from people. And just, you know, mobility in general in water is kind of crappy in two areas. So I'm very happy about that. Oh, there's actually another one down there. There's another water chest. Wow. There really is a lot of chests, isn't there, guys? That's crazy. Look at this pond, though. Wow. That's a, that's a hell of a sheer cliff again, though, man. Honestly, I feel like the terrain generation in this world is kind of cool, but also a little bit whacked out. I don't know. I don't know. There's just something that happens sometimes. Hey, sir, you need to die. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's bringing your brethren with you. Hey, you freaking butt. Get the, get the crap out of here. Hey, go on. Go on, get out. You get out of here, son. Right, here we go. Can I, like, make this? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's the only thing about the boomerang. If you miss your target, it's so unforgiving. It really, really is. Hey, sir, you need to die. No, no, really, you need to die. Get the hell out of here. Right, here we go. Right, can I, like, actually make this? <laughs> nope. All right, well, uh, you know, this calls for plan B, I guess. Just do a little bit of this, I guess. The demolitionist has arrived. Interesting stuff, interesting stuff. Uh, actually, that's really, really... Uh, no. No, let me pass, you freaking slime. Jeez, man, the lack of double jump. It's really starting to get on my nerves. Wow. Okay, come on, man. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, guys. So my curiosity kind of peaked. I wound up coming back to the base. And this guy is selling a, a red cape and a bunch of food, which is kind of cool. This thing's got a 15-minute duration. Uh, I'm going to buy five of them. Why not? And then, obviously, you know, it's a cape. I have to have a cape on. Look at this. The, the sort of... Sun demigod. Obviously, the actual sun god has a a sun mask. So yeah, but eh, why not? I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, guys. So here we are, back on the left hand side of the world. We've just about cleared the jungle here, and uh, as well as there being yet another large tree, this one being our fourth. This one is bisected by an enchanted sword shrine ravine thing. Yeah, that's pretty nuts, actually. <laughs> you don't see that very often. Well, apart from on my live stream Terraria hub world, I feel like it's always on my hub world at this point that I get this weird stuff happening. How strange. How strange. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, look at this, man. This looks really weird. Like, it's completely bisected the tree, hasn't it? That's pretty cool. All right, guys. So we've got our first enchanted sword shrine chasm thing of, I hope, many of them. And, uh, you know, who knows? Who knows? Maybe there's a chance we'll get the enchanted sword. Maybe there's even a rarer chance of getting the Arcalis. I have never once had the Arcalis in any of my Terraria worlds ever. So this would be a new first in my personal Terraria history if I could get myself the Arcalis. That would be seriously, seriously insane, guys. Like, legit, it really, really would be. So, here we go. We're just digging down at this point. You, sir, you need to die. He's going to, like, jump down on me. Ah, not anymore, son. <laughs> Y'all ain't getting me, sunshine. It's not going to happen, boy. All right, come on, boys. We've got to be nearly there by now. I mean, I feel like I've been digging for about five years here. And is it going to be a real one? It is. It's a real one. It's a real enchanted sword shrine, ladies and gentlemen. The question is, does it, wait, there's a gold chest over there as well? Oh, this is like a double whammy, guys. Heck yeah, buddy. All right, so, what do we get? What do we think, guys? What are we thinking? Do we think we're going to get what we're looking for? Uh, uh, what do I want to chuck? Mushroom? Uh, we got plenty of mushrooms. Uh, compass? Uh, 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 boomerang? I don't know, man. I kind of want to... Don't want to chuck anything. Well, maybe these, because we have quite a surplus at this point. But ladies and gentlemen, three, two, one, boom! It's an enchanted sword. You know what? I'm not heartbroken about that whatsoever. I've got myself a new sword, which is a whopping... In fact, it's more than double the damage of my silver broadsword, ladies and gentlemen. This is how we roll in the Terraria Pro Circuit. Heck yeah, buddies. I will absolutely take this. No questions asked. No complaints whatsoever. Why the heck is there a... I don't understand why there's a chest down here. That makes no sense whatsoever. But you know what? There is some Hermes boots inside it, which is kind of interesting to say the very least. But uh, you know what? That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. I am very, very happy with the fact that we got ourselves an enchanted sword on my uh, on my third episode, guys. So do you know what? 
I'm going to call that a rousing success, and that is going to be the point of which to end this episode here, guys. I want to thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, do be sure to go ahead, head down below the video, drop a like rating. It'll be super appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. And today's comment question of the video comes from Hayley Desmond. Anyone hyped for getting Halloween costumes in October? Absolutely, man. Now, as far as I can remember, I believe the Halloween event starts on the 15th of October. Is it the 15th? I think it's the 15th because they normally last for like a like a half month or something like that. So, yeah, absolutely. I'm looking forward to getting some costumes. I'm looking forward to getting my creeper outfit and repping my red creeper bros from my Minecraft channel. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Your support, as always, has been super appreciated. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.